Hello, I'm Scott with Sean's Photography, and here I have the Cheetah Stand Bow Flector here in front of me. I'm using my favorite portrait modifier, which is the Cheetah Lantern here above, with a 200 in there. And my shutter speed is 200, my f stop is 4, and my ISO is 100. So I'm going to take a sh shot here Pre using the uh, X Pro trigger. I know you can't see it in the video. I will post the picture up. It's very well lit. It fills in that under shadow underneath the chin. It's, it's a nice, beautiful image, even though this is a mannequin. It's, it'd be a lot better if it was a subject, but this is a mannequin. So let's try it without the bow flector. We'll slide it right out of And I find the C10 stand works perfect for the bow flector. It's about the right height and then you can of course adjust it even higher, but it's the right height, not fully or not extended at all. So let's take a shot. Again, still good lighting. And when I post these pictures, you'll see the difference what the reflector will add to this image. It's now got a mid contrasty shadow underneath the chin. It's very contrasty picture. Um, it's the kind of pictures I like. I like it's a little more dramatic. Um, I really like that lighting. Again, I'm in a, a butterfly lighting position, so the light is a 45 degree angle down onto the subject, dead center above camera lens. But when I post the pictures, you'll see the difference between the two. And I will actually post the picture with the white diffuser on there, because you'll see the difference between the two, the, the silver, the white, and without. Again, my name is Scott with Sean's Photography, and hopefully this will help you out. Thank you.